Hey everyone, welcome back. Will that yellow top Optima you bought freeze up if you leave it discharged when it's cold out? We're about to find out, let's get started. We gotta go outside, it's about two degrees outside near zero. It's about negative 22 last night and the day before today. I left the light switch on, on our Ford one ton pickup truck, draining both our good condition, yellow Optima batteries down to nothing. So they sat out the day before yesterday, they sat out yesterday and overnight when it was negative 20, and they're completely dead. Can we save them? Let's go out and try. Well, to say it's cold outside is an understatement. Right now it's actually a bit of a reprieve. It warmed up a little bit, came above zero. So that's good. Got up for church this morning, came out to start it, turned the key on and nothing. Let's go ahead and get the popped up. I just turned the key on and there's nothing. Nothing happened. So we got the charger out here. Looks like dad might have already hooked it up. Why is it always so cold outside when I gotta work on this thing? All right, it's not hooked up, it's just sitting here, so that's a good sign. Not sure how much time we have before the GoPro freezes. Last time I was out here working on that air filter, it was not as cold, it was snowing, but not as cold enough. GoPro still froze up on us. We're gonna get right to it. What I wanna do is I wanna charge these batteries up. We're gonna slowly charge them up, at least the slowest setting that this charger has to offer. Once they're charged up, we're gonna fire it up. We're gonna take it on a trip tomorrow, just around the local area, and we'll come back the day after tomorrow. We're gonna try to start it up. We're gonna see if they've held their charge. Yellow top Optima batteries are, of course, filled with gel. So as we hook this up, we're gonna go. We're gonna go on the positive side over here on the driver. We're gonna come over here to the negative side, terminal on the passenger. That right there should do it. Let's make sure we're in the off. We are off. The options that we have on this are six volt 30 amp, six volt 50 amp, 12 volt 30 amp, 12 volt 60 amp, and 12 volt engine start. So we're gonna go on 12 volt 30 amp. Leave that off until we get it plugged in. I had the one ton plugged in, so it was all ready to go this morning, except the battery was totally dead, both of them. All right, we're plugged in. Six, six, there's 12. Turn this on. Now I'm gonna set it to about 130 minutes, and we're just gonna let it run on 12 volt. Let's see if we've got some power here. Yep. So there we are, we're on 12 volt, 30 amp, 130 minutes. 
So I could do like a 6 volt 30 amp, but we're on a 12 volt battery, of course. Um, we're going to go to the lowest setting on the 12 volt side. Negative terminal connected. Positive terminal connected. And we do that because we want to charge both batteries at the same time. And make sure that when this is ready to start, it's actually going to start. So. All right, we'll catch you guys in the morning. Gonna get up about 5.30 in the morning. Make sure we can get this started. I'll see you then. Hey, top of the morning to you. <clears throat> Didn't get out here at 5.30 a.m., but that's all right. Got a little extra sleep this morning. So this was running for about two hours on 30 amps. And then it shuts off, of course, because it's on a timer. I haven't turned it back on yet this morning. I just literally walked out here with the camera. I'm just gonna go ahead and see if it's got some charge to it without turning it on. Now glow plugs are working. Let's see if it cranks. Remember the charger is not turned on. <laughs> With that said, I think these batteries are going to be good, but I'm going to turn this back on, turn it up one setting or so. Let's see. There it's back on. We're going to go up to uh, 60 amp. And I would say that this alternator probably charges at about 90 amps. Um, I don't know if these came with 120s. Um, I haven't taken the time to look. Maybe you know already. So we're charging at 60 amps now. We'll let the glow plugs go through one more time because it is, it is cold outside. Actually not as cold as last night. But uh, we'll try to fire it up. I normally have it plugged in when it's cold like this, but the charger was plugged in last night. Too bad. All right, here we go. Almost. We're going to take this into town today. We actually got to go into town, run a bunch of errands. And we're going to take it over to... Uh, different state, which isn't too far away, about 60 miles. Let the glow plugs do their thing one more time. When it's cold like this, you push the pedal all the way to the floor and let it back up. It doesn't come back up all the way, it's the, uh, the high idle I guess you would say. Thanks for hanging out today. My wife's inside saying we gotta go. So hopefully this starts up shortly, we can get it warmed up. <laughs> mistake but then we're gonna try it out tomorrow morning that's when we'll know whether the batteries hold up or not but I think they're gonna be good
This is like the plague of the dead batteries over here. This one's been dead for probably about a week or more. I just got a yellow top optum in it too. This Jetta developed a short, not in the battery, but in the system somewhere. And when it came out and started, it was dead. And uh, I just wanted to basically uh, get going for the day, so I didn't touch it. I should have. We'll see if we can save this battery too. This one's been dead for a while. Negative 20s, negative teens. So we'll see. There we go, negative, positive. We're gonna turn this one on to 30 amps as well. I'd really like this one to come back because we're gonna repurpose this battery. This Jetta is in need of some serious maintenance and work. All right, so everything's off inside. We're gonna let that one go for the full two hours, just like the one ton. And then we're gonna come back and see if it cranks like the one ton did. If it doesn't, that might mean we got some problems because the one ton has the two batteries, of course. This one, just the one. And uh, I hope it comes back. We got some projects going. I'd like to have a battery to put in one of those. We'll catch you in just a little bit. Well, it's just been a few moments, but it's actually two days later, um, not yesterday, but the day before we took the Ford around, probably put about 120 miles on it, maybe even more than that, actually. Uh, we came home, we parked it, I left it unplugged that night, got down to about negative 13 degrees. Um, yesterday, we had some bad weather come in, so lots of blowing snow. Um, it was about zero to two degrees for a high, and um, I actually went out and I plugged in the truck last night. It was about nine o'clock at night. I didn't put the charger on it, I just plugged it in because <clears throat> just in case an emergency arose and we had to start up the truck and take it somewhere, I wanted to make sure we had it available. <clears throat> I checked out the car and actually put that on for four hours and when I went to check it the next morning, it was totally dead still. We're not gonna call that a true test because that's got a short in it, like I said, multiple shorts. Generally takes a few days for it to go dead, but it's really cold out and those batteries were dead to begin with. Um, of course, we were putting it on the trickle charge at 30 amps. That's the lowest setting that this charger has. So we're not gonna call that a true test on that Volkswagen Jetta. Now, one of the batteries here on the one ton is from 2013. And remember, these batteries were dead for a solid two days with the light switch on. So they were definitely drained down. Uh, we're gonna go out. I'm actually gonna show you out the window here what it's like right now out there. Might not be able to see it on the camera, but it's really windy. We've got some blowing snow going on. The storm has actually passed and it's just the, uh, the remnants of the wind now wreaking a little havoc. So let's take a look. Here we go, let's get you up there. There's the one ton, it's sitting plugged in. And you can see by the, the weeds blowing around, it's windy out right now. I'm gonna check and see what the actual temp is and we'll head out. It's right at zero at the moment, so. Only gonna get colder today. Started out at two degrees at 12 a.m. It's now zero, so it got colder. By 11 o'clock tonight, it's supposed to be negative eight. So we're gonna experience some more cold snap here. Hopefully those batteries have recovered and the one ton fires up. So let's head outside. All right, I had to go in and grab the keys real quick. There of course is the Jetta. Charger's there, but it's not running anymore. I'm gonna get right out here into the wind, so I apologize. It's actually blowing the tripod around.
plugged in. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just let it run. We're gonna idle it up to temperature. And uh, then we're just gonna shut it off. We'll plug it back in again. That way if we need it today, we can use it. Right now, Jeep's broken down again for like the third time this month. That happens, we'll have another video on that. Uh, and as for now, I'm gonna head inside. I'm gonna work on that Honda 250 Big Red project that we've been working on for a while. Thanks so much for watching, I do appreciate it. Uh, if you guys want to, head on over to our Facebook page. Head on over to our Instagram. It's totally up to you. Maybe hit that subscribe button or the like button. Um, we just appreciate it. Let us know what you're working on. We want to have some interactions with you. Otherwise, stay warm and have a good day. I'm going to go inside. Bye-bye.